somebody would come in uh, to Karenat and go ahead and just come right up the steps and head up to the upstairs where we, where we would greet them. And we always offer them a clipboard. And on the clipboard, they, they fill in any information they want to give to us straight up front. It really is helpful to us to be able to see um, where the girls are at before we bring them into the counseling room. For most of our clients, it begins with a free pregnancy test. We offer them a free lab quality, self-administered pregnancy test so that they can determine whether or not they are pregnant. Um, if that pregnancy, if they read that pregnancy test as being positive, we will immediately provide them with a referral for the free ultrasound scan through Dr. Taylor. Actually, in all of our five centers, there's a next step testing office. So after she has a positive test, we would offer her her ultrasound between eight and 12 weeks so that she can have a glimpse, a look at her, um, at her womb, what's going on inside of her womb. And we also, um, if it is a negative test, we would offer them through next step testing and STD screening. Well, I help organize the ultrasound program. Uh, I supervise the nurses that are working for the, the to give first trimester ultrasounds. And we just started a sexually transmitted disease clinic, and so I run that also, um, overseeing the nurses who actually do all the work. to support CareNet. Uh, we really enjoy their ministry and what they do and um, the awareness that they make um, about life and uh, how choosing life is more important. And, uh, so we, we walk to support them. Uh, this is my mom, this is Jennifer. Uh, this is my brother, this is Ethan. This is Mrs. DeBoer and this is her uh, granddaughter, Lily. I just thank God for giving me the opportunity and I thank my friend for giving me the opportunity to be here today to um, run a care net walk. First and foremost, we encourage life. Uh, we would never refer for or perform abortion services. And I think that is the number one difference. We, we believe that life begins at conception and that every human life is valuable to our Creator. And so our primary mission is you know, beyond helping them connect with our Lord and Savior and have faith, um, our next most important mission is to help people understand the miracle that occurs at conception and understand the truth about fetal development so that they can make a fully informed decision. So we will educate them about the three options that they have, which would be adoption, abortion, and parenting. And we encourage them to choose either an adoption plan or a parenting plan, but we don't judge them if they do choose to have an abortion. As a matter of fact, while you were asking me what services we offer, one of the outreaches we have that doesn't get spoken of enough is an outreach to women and men that have abortions in their past. It's called our New Day program. Many people who make that abortion decision suffer in silence for years before they ever reach out to another for hope and healing. Um, and they don't know where to go, where they can get that kind of uh, support without risk. Here's, CareNet is, is such a place. Uh, we have literally ministered to hundreds of women and men that have abortions in their past, and quite frankly, I'm one of them. I lost two children to abortion when I was in high school. 
it was the single most painful thing in my entire life. And I wish that there had been a place like CareNet when we were experiencing unplanned pregnancies in high school. Although the first time we had an unplanned pregnancy as a high school student, we weren't really given any choice. Uh, abortion was uh, more or less the only choice that was, was uh, offered, I guess you'd say, by our parents. And, uh, but the second time around, we never told anybody. Uh, we went to an organization thinking we would learn how to plan for our role as parents. But once we got there, all we heard about was abortion. And it's kind of a long story, but uh, I just have always felt that if a place like CareNet existed back when I was in high school, and we happened to have gone there instead, that one of our two children would still be alive today. Race starts at 9.15. If you want to start making your way down. And also, for those of you who haven't signed up for the race, Please visit our silent auction table, visit all the ministry booths, and say hello to some of the workers that are down there. by leaps and bounds and by faith. Uh, we are always praying for God to show us open doors to make us better ministers to the people that we are reaching out to, if you will. And so when I first came on board, for example, we had four locations. Today we have five we opened a center in the Morrisville area. And that was a really good venture for us because we had never had what you might call a, a campus outreach. And we're right across the street from uh, SUNY Morrisville with the center that was open there. So that's one area. We've grown in terms of the number of centers that we've had. But we've also grown in terms of what we offer for people. For example, uh, Ten years ago, when I first came on staff, we only had ultrasound services at one location. But God provided, through our donor base, uh, four additional ultrasound machines so that we can provide, through Dr. Toby Taylor, uh, free ultrasound services at all five of our locations. I oversee five offices with center directors and also um, work with volunteers, try to grow Karenet Pregnancy Center of Central New York to be as, as huge as it can possibly get here in the Tri-County area of Herkimer, Oneida, and Madison counties. And another service that we offer is to our public schools. And well, we have two programs actually. It's in the area of abstinence education. We have a program called Worth Waiting For that challenges young adults to take control of their sex drive and make the decision to save sex for marriage. And it is the only sure way that a young teen won't contract an STD or end up experiencing an unplanned pregnancy. We have probably about 25 public schools that invite us year in and year out. Uh, Worth Waiting For consists of three 45 minute modules where we will tailor it to whatever the school uh, allows. We have one program for junior high, one program for senior, and we see about 3,000 students every single year. Of that group, one of the strongest messages that we have in our program to that group is we, we plant the idea in their mind that even if they've been sexually active, they can always start over. And I, you know, I'm, I'm here in my 50s now, and I, sometimes I forget what it's like to be a teenager, but I'm always surprised at the number of responses that we get that say things like, I never thought of that. <laughs> Our branches are in Herkimer County, they're in Herkimer. In Oneida County, 
we have um, the Utica and the Rome Center. And then in Madison County, we have Morrisville and Oneida. Karenette's typical clients are women of childbearing age. So, you know, beginning at 13 and up till 45 years old, we generally serve women and their partners. So we are attracting many men to uh, CareNet, which has been a huge blessing for us, as we also are attracting male volunteers. So we are able to also impact their lives for Christ and um, help them become better parents, better men, and learn the true biblical, um, biblical um, form of manhood, like learn, learn what biblical manhood is. A lot of people don't realize how deeply it can affect a man when a, a woman chooses to have an abortion against his will. And I understand that legally she has the right to do that. Uh, but I have met men that 20, 30 years after the effect, after the uh, abortion has occurred, are still in pain. Um, but here's, here's the other side of that coin. In most cases, well, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say most, but the other side to that coin is that in a lot of cases, the we reason a woman has an abortion is because she's being pressured and coerced by her boyfriend or parents or other you know, outside influencers. So when we can get the boyfriend involved and he comes to realize that it's a human being we're talking about and that in fact it's his child, oftentimes they become supportive of the decision for life. And for that reason, we try to encourage the woman to have the, you know, the partner come in. Yeah, yeah, first five came. They do a good they do a good thing for this, you know, raising all the money and yeah, I'm happy to the run. This is actually one of our biggest fundraisers of the year. And we have normally about five hundred people that will come out and participate. Some of them run the five K, some walk the two mile walk, others participate in the ultimate frisbee tournament. But it's really a fundraising and I, I emphasize fun fundraising event. And it helps bridge the gap be during the summer months when donations tend to slip off a little bit, and yet we are at our peak season in terms of the number of clients that we see. That's why we hold the Walk for Life, partially. The other reason is kind of community awareness. As you can see, there are an awful lot of people behind us, and they stop and visit the ministry booths. They learn more about our ministry. They learn about other Christian ministries in the area, like 40 Days for Life, Silent No More campaign. They learn about you folks and what you're doing and other ministries in the area. So it's, it's a good event.
a friend from family court sent me directed me down here and I came and they actually helped me out a lot. They um, gave me good advice and they told me about adoption and um, I decided to keep it when I got a little bit, you know, into the program and I got used to them and I just came here and they showed me a lot of videos. My boyfriend and Karen I was talking to me so much about keeping it and I just got sick of what everybody else was trying to tell me to do and stuff and I decided to keep it. I was very nervous, scared, shocked and surprised and <laughs> the first person I ever told was I told my boyfriend um I think I'm pregnant and he told me <laughs> if I am like he doesn't want me to get rid of it because it's his first child and he wants it and stuff and he was telling me a lot of, about a lot of other things and I was really scared to tell my mom <laughs> she <laughs> the first words that came out of her mouth was hopefully you're not pregnant, you know, um, we're, we'll have to take you to a doctor to get checked out. It was so much people telling me this, people telling me that, people just telling me two different things at the same time. And I thought it was just time for me to make my own decision. And when I made my own decision, it was the end. Mm -hmm. And I decided to keep it at that part. And um, when I decided to keep it, it changed me a lot. Mm. And when I decided, made my decision, people were still trying to make me do other things and stuff. And I, I was, I just made my final decision, so I wasn't paying no attention to them. Karen had helped me so much. They would, I would call them to talk to them when I was stressed. They would, they would ask me to come in and they would actually make me feel much better by talking to me about, they would tell me a lot of good things, mm -hmm. honestly, and they they helped me so much. The DVD series are actually good. Um, they help you learn a lot of things that you don't know. I actually think Care Nuts a good experience for those who's going through pregnancy and they don't know what to do. And I think it's um, a good idea yeah. for other people. Okay. I was treated so perfect. I was treated very good. My mom's actually used to the fact that I'm pregnant. She takes it in now and she helps me out a lot. And she talks to me sometimes and yeah. yeah. What it, I was, the ultrasound, I was very nervous and scared at first and I was actually kind of excited, you know, and when they showed the pictures, I, I started smiling and I was very happy to see and I, as soon as um, I got home, I hung them up on my um, wall. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still there till this day.
one day I was having very bad pains in my stomach. So I went to the hospital and they gave me blood work and it was positive. My boyfriend knew before I did. He kept telling me I was. I kept telling him I wasn't. And well, and my grandmother, she knew. I don't know how. But she knew before I told her. He's more into it than I am. I'm not. I'm scared. He's excited. It was about a year ago. My friend was pregnant and she came here and I came with her. And that's when I knew about it. Never knew it existed before that. I take leap here and I come for birthing classes. We will uh, encourage them to enroll in our parenting classes or into a program we call Leap to Success. Leap to Success, uh, Leap stands for Learn, Earn, and Parent. And it's a learn while you earn type program that a couple can stay in for up to two years. They take modules on many different aspects of parenting. Nutrition, how to create a safe environment for their children, the effects of alcohol and nicotine in the home and on, on an unborn child and, and secondary smoke. Um, but there, there's other elements to it as well. For example, they can participate in Bible studies. And we include that as part of the Leap to Success program because we really do believe that to have a healthy home, uh, having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ is paramount. In those classes I learned about nutrition. I learned about child care, how to take care of myself, and how to care for a baby. Being in CareNet, they've helped me, gave me supplies I need, and mostly everything I need. They treat me very good. Treat me like a family. I first heard about CareNet through people in the community and other organizations. I was told that CareNet was a great place to go with friendly people. They could help out with things like diapers and clothes and I lived close by so I walked in one day and didn't even realize how great the services would be when I got here. I actually wasn't 100% sure when I first started coming to care not exactly what was going on and when I came in because I had heard from an organization that they were doing diapers at care not I came in and found out that they have counselors to talk to you about, you know, pregnancy and other other things. I had just had a baby when I first started coming to CareNet. Okay. I had a newborn daughter. Okay. Now my daughter's two years old and I also have a three-month-old son. With my first child, CareNet helped me. They offered parenting classes and different counseling that helped me with being a first-time mother, not knowing what to expect. The classes taught me what to expect and it was great. They helped with clothes and diapers and lots of different things. CareNet staff was amazing, absolutely great. It was an awesome support system. The second time around with CareNet, I was actually coming to parenting classes for my first daughter and I found out that I was pregnant with a second child. I was completely afraid my daughter was only six months old. So I didn't know how to handle the second pregnancy and I started going to counseling here and I made the great decision of, you know, taking care of my son and my daughter. I learned to bond with him. I was terrified with my second child. I really was, my first daughter was only six months old. So hearing I was pregnant so soon, I kind of had problems bonding with my second child and CareNet totally changed that for me. I lived in the middle of CareNet and go the other clinic and <laughs> I was scared to the point I had one direction to go, either or, and I chose to come to CareNet before I walked the other way. Okay. So I, and actually I had two thoughts, you know, two separate occasions where I was ready for abortion and I came to CareNet as soon as I had them thoughts and it absolutely changed my mind. It was the best decision I ever made. Prayer, CareNet helped me with prayer when it came to, you know, it's, it's all going to be okay, and we are going to be here to support you. And I met some great people in CareNet. The staff was so wonderful. It's lifelong friends. Any issues I have, anything with my kids, I just come right here. And I look at my son every day, and I'm very thankful. Absolutely, I would recommend to anybody in the community for anything, any kind of pregnancy, questions, 
to come to CareNet. Walk for Life helps CareNet basically pay their monthly rent, their bills, the pregnancy tests, um, pay for STD testing, ultrasound, all the other things that we're offering free to the public. We, um, we have to pay to keep the heat on, the lights on, and sal salaries, a few of us get paid. Most everyone is a volunteer. However, we, um, we do have monthly operating expenses that the Walk for Life definitely helps us uh, reach every month. Me and the Mark Bolos Band have done this for many years now. Uh, we believe in the sanctity of life. Uh, CareNet is a, a great organization. Uh, as a dad of nine kids myself, um, I love children. Um, it's a great way to come out here and, and support what CareNet's been doing for years. And I am honored that they would, uh, they would ask us to come and do music again this year because it's a, it's a great thing, saving babies' lives. You know, the bottom line is the most perfect thing to do.